Hey everybody, Chris from CDC Flips here, back with the 2011 Mini Cooper. Today I'm just going to do a little diagnosing. You know, we have those two trouble codes, uh, the P0304 for a cylinder 4 misfire, and the P0136, I believe it was, for the O2 sensor downstream, uh, bank 1 sensor 2. So, uh... First off, I want to say for those of you who watched the first video, thanks for watching. For those who subscribed, I appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy the content and want to keep coming back to see how this goes. This is hopefully the first of many projects, uh, basically buying cars at auction, fixing them up, and then reselling them. We hope for profit. Uh, also, if you see anything that I do, uh, I, you know, I enjoy constructive criticism. I'm um, always looking to improve and get better. So obviously leave your comments below and let me know what you think. So with that, let's get started. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out, if you can see just looking in here, I noticed that uh, there should be two Torx screws here. One's missing. Um, that tells me that Somebody's already been in here messing around and I guess lost the screw that goes there. So that doesn't make me feel good because that means that some of the issues we're having may have been caused simply by human error as opposed to mechanical failure. Um, I also noticed, and it may be hard to see in the camera, but I see this wire here. This one is a ground. I expect to see that, but this concerns me that this is just hanging out there. Also, I can see that these clips are not in the places they need to be, which means this just comes right off. So we'll set this off to the side. Um, just taking a quick look at it. Um, it does look kind of shiny on the inside. Looks like uh, there's some oil has gotten up in here. So that's something else we want to make note of. So looking at this, this should be all taped up. I can see there's some loose tape here. Um, so somebody undid the, the loom or undid the tape to get to the wire loom. And uh, that tells me that they probably already had this misfire. And was trying to find ways to fix it. But this looks pretty bad. This looks kind of like a hack job. Um, there's a male to female connector in here. Um, and some of this, I don't know, some of this might be factory. I'm not sure. Um, you know, I've never torn one open. So I have no idea. I might be criticizing something that's commonplace. Um, but I see, you know, wires connected here that are heat shrink wrapped. Same here. Um, <clears throat> this wire has been pinched. You know, I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but it's been pinched right there. Also, I notice on this one that the wire is exposed. So it's been torn into. Um, I don't know. You know, that's just, you know, like easily noticeable. It looks like this one here might also have a gash in it. So. You know, really, this all probably needs to be replaced. So I don't know if they, uh, you know, were trying to diagnose this. And first thing they thought was uh, another thing that I'll point out real quick, kind of stumbling over my words here, but I want to make sure I point out is this, you know, so one, two, three, four, this one, this it coil is different from the rest of them. Um, it's, you know, kind of hard to see. I'll see if I can get you in a little bit closer. But these, I don't know what I did with my, uh, so these are more rounded. This one is more of a square, um, almost like a house, you know, walls and a roof. So this one's obviously been replaced. And again, that kind of tells me that they probably already had issues with cylinder four. <clears throat> 
So, uh, you know, again, this looks like it's probably been, like this is probably new and was wired in. Um, this coil uh, clearly looks new, although there is some green on the inside, and that might be from the, uh, you know, dialectic grease, maybe. I'm not sure. But, you know, that's a good indication that they've been trying to fix this issue and wasn't having any luck. Hopefully, hopefully I'll have more luck. I'm going to go ahead and pull the spark plug, too, just to see how it looks. Nope, I thought I had it. Nope. Third time's a charm, right? Oh, and it actually was. So yeah, uh, that's pretty greasy. Um, you know, this side doesn't look so good. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell that, uh, a gap look in uh between the electrode and the ground strap there um that looks pretty wide that looks significant i'll have to pull another one to compare just to see um but even the spark plug looks at least the porcelain part it looks pretty good but i mean the fact that it's not exposed to the internals probably should look like that. We'll pull this one next to it. Come on. He's stubborn. Oh, there we go. Uh, this one's got some grease in it too, or some oil. Well, that's interesting. I don't think that was supposed to come out with it. Pretty sure that was supposed to stay in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Huh. Oh. But yeah, so <clears throat> now I can show you probably a little bit easier what I was talking about earlier. As you can see, that these do not look the same. So this one obviously been replaced. So likely the coil is good. I mean, it could be bad. I'm not saying that, it, that it, that's not a possibility, but it's more likely that that wasn't the issue. Well, oh yeah, so for sure, uh, you probably might not be able to see, but let me grab that other one real quick, just to compare. Okay, yeah, so, I mean, it might be that the electrode on this one is wore down, and not necessarily that the strap is too that the gap is too much um it's even kind of hard for me to see eh.
No, well, maybe maybe that it is the way it's supposed to be. Because they they I mean in the light they look kind of they look pretty similar. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, it definitely looks like these probably need to be replaced. Um, just looking at them. Yeah, looking at it from this way, you can definitely tell that. You know, I mean, the gaps are about the same, so I guess that's not an issue. They're pretty. Okay, well, so. Um, so, yeah. Kind of uh, makes me wonder now. So, if it's not a spark plug, I mean, obviously, we got to test. All of this, um, but I was just I was kind of curious. Sorry for the long dramatic silence. There's not really a whole lot to say at this point. Just trying to get this kind of put back together. Um, I thought I had a inline uh, ignition uh, tester, but I don't know what I did with it. So. <clears throat> Nope, now it is. Definitely want to make sure to get that in all the way. Okay. Well, I guess I shouldn't have put that one back in there. I want to test for spark. Come on, quit trolling me. Okay. Next, we're going to pull the. See if there's a uh, fuel pump relay in here. Hmm. Not looking like it. It's probably inside. All right, well, give me a second to find this and then I'll be back. All right, guys, so I pulled the fuel pump relay. And now we're going to try and see if we have spark. But I am going to move. Make sure nothing's in the way. Hopefully we'll be able to see something. I 
That's kind of crazy. Okay, well, we have Spark. Um, I probably would have preferred it not have happened like that, but then this was not quite turned right, but it did arc. There was a slight arc there. Um, so, well, that makes me wonder why we're getting a misfire if we're getting Spark. I just didn't really do a very good job, it doesn't seem like. So, I mean, this is definitely an issue, I mean, between this and that. I'm probably just going to end up seeing if I can find a replacement used harness, engine harness, and just replace everything rather than trying to sit here. Um, I'm not an electrician, and... Uh, I definitely don't want stuff to be like this. So I think that might be the easiest course of action for me. But I could be wrong because there's a lot of there's a lot of to this engine harness and I mean there may be spots I can't reach. So we'll have to see. I may end up having to try and wire rewire it instead just for the sake of time. But really it's just gonna turn into an observational video. Uh, we've already kind of looked over this stuff with the ignition coil wiring and, you know, the spark plug. Um, one of the other, the other faults I was having has to do with the heater signal for the O2 sensor downstream. So I am going to check to see what the resistance is for that by taking my probes and connecting one to each of the signal pins that are in here. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard. You're not going to be able to see because uh, I don't have any way to hold the camera and do this at the same time. But we're just going to look here to see what we get as far as resistance. And we get six, well, okay. Well, it was pretty steady there for a second. Now it's getting kind of crazy. Yeah, so like 6.5, yeah, 6.5 ohms is what we're getting. <clears throat> I have tried to find the specification for this particular O2 sensor as far as what the resistance should be, uh, but I have not been able to seem to find that. Uh, so if any of you know, please let me know in the comments um, because that's right now that's really the only test that I can do. Um, I saw somewhere where it said the ohm's resistance should be between 10 and 20, um, but nothing that I've seen in other ones uh, other comments come even close to that. They're 4.8, 5.5, something like that. So I, you know, I, I don't know. That's something I'm going to have to research between now and the next video. And uh, again, I apologize that this wasn't more in depth. Um, hopefully with the next one, uh, we can get uh, a little more involved. Maybe uh, we can determine if, if this O2 sensor is faulty and uh, get one get it one to replace it um i'm probably still probably going to get a new wiring a new harness uh probably go ahead and get new spark plugs to replace those just because they look kind of the two that i took out looked kind of dirty um they look like they probably haven't been replaced in a while um i don't know that i'm going to replace the coil uh, I mean, I would like them to be all the same, but what I really need is just, I mean, it works, so there's really no sense in replacing it um, at this time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw.
Um, if you're interested and you want to continue to see how this evolves, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks.